Hey guys, we are so glad you're here because today we are starting a brand new series called at the movies where we get to watch some of our favorite movies have discussion and see how god can help us in situations similar to the characters in the movie are you ready i'm super excited because today we get to start with one of my favorite movies of all time the lion king no which is why i was singing the intro that we all know so well so Nala and Simba were typical kids just like you guys, but they found themselves in quite a bit of trouble. When Nala and Simba were about to go to the graveyard, they had tricked their parents into doing something. Their parents told them never to go to the elephant graveyard, but they really wanted to go because they heard it was so cool. So question number one, have you guys ever done something that your parents told you not to do? I think we've all done it. But why do you think they told you not to do it? Most of the time they love you so much and they just want you to be safe. Question number two, were you ever in a situation where you were afraid? I can remember a lot of times I was afraid when I was a kid. Nala and Simba were scared because the hyenas came and they knew that they were bad guys, total bad guys, and they wanted to hurt Nala and Simba. Question number three, have you ever made a decision with a friend but you knew deep down that it was the wrong thing to do? When Nala and Simba were going to the elephant graveyard, Zazu ended up showing up and he told them that this was a bad idea, but they kept ignoring him and wanting to push forward, but Zazu kept trying to save them. Zazu reminds me a lot of the Holy Spirit. If you're ever in a situation and you just have a bad feeling like this is not a good idea, that's the Holy Spirit trying to tell you, you shouldn't be doing this, it's not safe. Question number four. Did something bad ever happen to your past and now you're too scared to do it? When we look towards the end of the movie, after Simba ran away, he was getting chased. His uncle told him to run away because he wasn't safe. His kingdom needs him. They need him to be their king, but he was too scared. So here comes our favorite crazy monkey, Rafiki. And he hit Simba on the head really hard with his stick. And then he says these very wise words. Yes. The past can hurt us, but we can either run from it or learn from it. What does that mean? Well, he again hits Simba on the head with a stick. But what does Simba do? Does he get hit? No. Does he run from it? No. He learns and knew that Rafiki was going to hit him again, so he ducked out of the way. That scary thing that happened in your past. Maybe you were playing baseball and you are getting ready to bat and the ball hits you and now you're too scared to do it again. Or maybe you were learning to ride a bike without training wheels and you fell and got hurt. So now you're too scared to learn again. Or maybe you're learning a new video game and your older sibling is really, really good and in the end you get frustrated because it's hard. We can get back up and try again. Ask someone who's good at it and maybe they can teach you and help you. So we can continue to be scared and not do that activity again, or we can learn from it. Your task for this week is to remember one thing that you tried before that you stopped doing because you were scared or because it was too hard. And I want you to think, why was it too hard? Or why were you scared? And this is the really big part of the task. Try again. Get help, ask your parents, ask your older brother or sister, or ask your friends to help you. And remember, God says in the Bible, do not fear because I am with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson today and we have a really fun movie this week, Monsters University. And I want you guys to wear your favorite school shirt when we meet again next week. Until next time, bye guys.